Welcome back everybody. We just concluded our first day at the WASP ACC's here in Tom's River, New Jersey. Um, it was a good day. We had five races. Uh, in the morning it was a little marginal and some of the smaller guys had a little better time. And by the end of the day we ended up with about 15 to 12 knots. Uh, standout today was Pete Must, but a super consistent score line. Other guys who had good time today were David Loring. He was super good in the jibes and tacks and just found his way around the race course pretty well. So we're here with David Loring. Uh, he was one of the top guys out there today. So let's talk about what you did to kind of get yourself into the top of the fleet. Uh, starting was uh, number one. I tended to have really conservative starts down to lure to the fleet just to make sure I was in the game when I got around the first mark. Um, luckily, he was not in the game one or two times, so uh, I was kind of jumped out in the lead a couple times. Today we're using the, I call it the Guido course, which is, uh, has the reaching start to begin with. Um, how do you like that compared to the traditional upwind starts? Uh, it's fun because it keeps everybody in it. So if anybody interested in sailing a wasp, it's a fun way to do it. You start on a reach, you go downwind, you're with, hanging with everybody, and then we do one upwind leg. Big change in the wasp fleet is this new foil. Uh, that actually translates to a moth very well. Um, the old foil wasn't quite didn't have enough lift. Uh, this one sails. Uh, for those mothies out there, we're, we're going 14, 15 upwind now. Uh, foil tacking, it sails really balanced. People learning is going to be a lot easier to sail. Um, the boats, that this is a game changer for the wasp. If anybody's looking to go riding, um, it's time because the boats really uh, balanced now. So I think they they did a really good job by um, extending the main foil. Tonight we've got a keg, we're gonna uh, have a couple drinks, and another beautiful day here in Tom's River, New Jersey. See you tomorrow.